Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss two metrics which can use for fast calculations. I hope to discuss more tricks in my future videos as well, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Alright, let's go to the first trick. Suppose you have to divide the number by 5, let's say 33 divided by 5. If you look at it, you can see it's a little bit complicated. To get the answer without using a calculator, you have to go through the long division method. But there is an easy way to do this. We can convert this complicated problem into a simple one. This is how I do it. I multiply the numerator by 2. We all know if we do something to the numerator, we have to do the same thing to the denominator as well. So I multiply the denominator by 2. Now 33 times 2 is 66 and 5 times 2 is 10. Now you can see we have converted our problem into a simple one. Because dividing any number by 10 is pretty easy. All we have to do is to move the decimal point one place to the left. So this is our answer. Another example, 14 divided by 5. I will work this out a little bit fast, okay? We multiply 14 by 2, 28 and move the decimal point one place to the left. This is the answer. It's pretty cool, huh? Let's look at another one, 106 divided by 5. So we multiply 106 by 2 which is 212 and put the decimal point here. That's the answer. Now suppose you have to divide a number by 25. For example, 12 divided by 25. In this case, we multiply the numerator by 2 and again by 2. And we do the same for the denominator as well. So we get 12 times 2 is 24, 24 times 2 is 48 and 25 times 2 is 50 and 50 times 2 is 100. See now our problem has converted into a simple one. When we divide a number by 100 all we have to do is move the decimal point two places to the left. So our answer is 0 0.48. Let's look at another example. 4 divided by 25. 4 times 2 is 8 and 8 times 2 is 16. Now we put the decimal point here. So the answer is 0 0.16. Suppose you have to divide 8 by 125. Now we multiply the numerator by 2 and 2 and again by 2. And we do the same for the denominator as well. So here 8 times 2 is 16 and 16 times 2 is 32 and 32 times 2 is 64. In here, 125 times 2 is 250, 250 times 2 is 500, and 500 times 2 is 1000. Now it's pretty easy. We move the decimal point 3 places to the left. So the answer is 0 0.064. How about 20 divided by 125? So 20 times 2 is 40, 40 times 2 is 80, 80 times 2 is 160, and we put the decimal point here. And the answer is 0 0.16. It's all about converting a complex problem into a simple one. Most of the time, we are not used to think like this way. But when you start to do so, you can speed up your calculations. Alright, let's go to the next trick. Suppose you have to multiply a number by 5. For example, 32 times 5. Another way to write this same thing is 32 into 10 by 2. Because 10 divided by 2 is also 5. Okay, now 32 divided by 2 is 16. See, now we have converted our problem into a simple one. 16 times 10 is 160. This is the answer. I hope you already know, if we multiply any number by 10, all we have to do is move the decimal point one place to the right, which is the same as to put a 0 to the end of the number. If we are going to multiply any number by 100, then we put two zeros to the end of that number and so on. Let's look at another example. 88 times 5. 88 divided by 2 is 44 and put a zero at the end. Simple as that. This is our answer. Here's another one. 124 times 5. 124 divided by 2 is 62 and put the zero at the end. This is the answer. Now, let's say we have to multiply 64 times 25. We can write this as 64 into 10 by 2 into 10 by 2. So 64 divided by 2 is 32 and half of 32 is 16. 
and put two zeros at the end. Next one, 164 times 25. 164 divided by 2 is 82 and half of 82 is 41 and add two zeros to the end. This is our answer. All right, let's say we have to multiply 256 by 125. So we can write this as 256 into 10 by 2 into 10 by 2 and into 10 by 2. Now we have to divide 256 by 8 or by 2 3 times. 256 divided by 2 is 128 and half of 128 is 64 and half of 64 is 32. And we put 3 zeros at the end. This is the answer. Next one. 648 times 125. 648 divided by 2 is 324. Half of 324 is 162 and half of 162 is 81. And put 3 zeros at the end. This trick will not be convenient at some times because dividing a number by 8 is not easy at all times but it could be handy at certain times. Alright, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed these tricks and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you will not miss my future videos. Cheers!